Welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our second chronicle on Bannerlord. And in this one, we're playing as one of the Sons of Batania. I wanted to show you. I did a little bit of smithing um, off screen, and uh, I actually did have a level up, a focal point that I added to. Well, we'll look at that in a minute. I think I put it in stewardship. But we have. Uh, for one thing, I went online. I did find out that we have warlord. We have a warlord set out there for the chest piece, but I haven't run into it yet. And I, I just did like kind of a. I went around twice to all the villages in Batania, all the the cities, and I couldn't find it. But I did find this one, which I think is just one point less, at least on the body armor than the Warlord armor. So I'm going to go ahead and buy it. It's about 115,000, so it's a chunk of change. But I'm going to get that. It looks nice. I think this is pretty good looking. I I like it. I like that the kilt's not all crazy. Uh, it's an understated pattern with colors, and um, I think this is a very elegant looking piece here when it comes to Highland armor. And then that means that we're going to give Chiefess Corain our old armor, which she looks fantastic in. That's a good look for her. I like the double plate here, the double plates, fastening plates. And uh, Edwin is going to get her ranger meal. Yep. All right. So that means we can sell this. I think because all the rest of them are going to have their Falksman armor yep so we can sell this and uh, we're going to pay 113.8 for that which puts me at 213k so I don't want to buy anything else I'm happy with that we, uh, we can carry up to 158 troops now yeah so I'm currently recruiting. And then under character. Uh, no, I put that point into throwing. And you guys, I believe, saw that. What I did do over here under steward is I selected relocation. I went ahead and took that. Okay, so we're going to leave here. And... Uh, I'm going to hit these guys. We're going to auto-resolve it. And we need to recruit. It's a lot of wood runners. Let's head north. Well, let's not. Oh, that's right. Uh, they gave us uh, Talavel Castle. Well, they didn't really. I would have lost it by one percentage point if I abstained. So because of that, I went ahead and threw in 10 influence points, and they gave us Talavel Castle. So we have that now. Um, let's go over here to Rotaton, see if I can recruit anything, and then... Oh, they took Varixon. It was this guy right here. I was going to go see if I could help out. And uh, I didn't get there in time. I don't want any of this. Oh, and off screen, I ran into a 41-man uh, Valandian army, arm, army. And I took Baron like Ekrand or something like that. I took him captive and I put him into uh, Pendraic Castle. All right, we're going to go ahead and head up this way, do the rest of our recruit. I guess, actually, I can go hit this guy. Uh, uh, nope, nope, nope. They got several armies coming in, and I don't want any piece of that. 
I was thinking I might have been able to catch them before they could reinforce each other, but that wasn't the case. Okay, recruit. Uh, none of these. What's our composition at? Uh, 68 infantry, 69 ranged. Okay. Very well. Grab that guy and that guy. That gets me to 141. And then let's go check Bog Beth. Oh yeah, we maybe should go see if we can track these guys down. I have plenty of ranged. Like to have more. Infantry. Tile. Tile got taken by the Kuzites. One forty four. And I notice it's also in rebellion, so it's not a Kuzite town, it's rebelling against Kuzites. Ah, oh, could have gotten them. 46. Hold on. Where's their... Try to intercept it on the first leg of its journey before it gets the tile. Okay, so they're... They're almost complete. I'm just going to let them complete it then. To 150. Fifty-two. Nothing there. One fifty-three. Gets me to 157. We're really close. And then we're going to embed ourselves into an army. That's the best way to get companions. I'd like to get to 10. Uh, I think I'll take another Batanian picked warrior. Okay, where's our armies at? I don't see any. Here's one, Coolhorn's army. Okay, well, real briefly, does that mean that I can create an army with Niasen? Oh, where is Niasen? Has Niasen been captured? Prisoner ejaculate. He has been captured. I'm not sure how to send a uh, ransom request. Uh, you're going to take out my big group that I wanted. Okay, well, let's go hunt down 
Valandian armies, there were some in the south, I remember. There was a whole team of them coming up from the south, right? And there's also an army over here that's sieging that we can get in, I think. Send troops. I want skirmishers. Need to balance out my skirmisher force. Okay, so we're sieging uh, Lanakin Castle. Join army. And attack. We were just in time. All right, everybody's running to their positions. We've got our gate crasher right here. We uh, outnumber them badly. new chess piece obviously we're getting shot at Where's our gate crasher at? It's getting close. We got reinforcements coming in. actually going to make it up to a gate for once. Yeah, we're there. Infantry are using siege weapons. guys come on that I had a long time to be able to get that guy he was in a very vulnerable position I just couldn't do it oh this would be a fantastic vantage point oh I hit him What do you think the odds are I could get this guy? Oh! Hey man, we're in. Switched back to the sword. Ah, oh, I thought I had it. I'm next, I'm next, I'm next. <laughs> Sometimes you have to command your position, right? Like, this is me. Get out of the way. It's my turn. 
Ah, okay, well, uh, done. <laughs> I did have a kill. Oh, yeah, that, that time whenever I was surprised and I was like, I hit him! <laughs> How did I miss that guy? Shooting at me, they missed me. Ow. Oh, nice. Okay, don't throw, don't throw. Oh, Fur Creed. Fur Creed was in there. I think he got the kill shot. Evan be praised. Sounds like we won. Yeah. Uh, I had four kills. Nice. Well, I suppose we'll vote on this going to us also. Oh, no, we just simply... Yeah, yeah, no, we should be voting on it here pretty soon. I mean, it's kind of close. Because they still want to offer a ransom for the king that I took a while ago. Not going to happen. Uh, Aiden is getting zero consideration. Oh, man. Oh, no, I can't win it. So we will abstain. Think, keep the weaponry still. Sell everything else for about 2,000. They have, what are these Highland Daggers? They got 19 of them. There's a methodology to leveling blacksmithing up that you can buy a whole bunch of daggers. I've never done it before. I I'm aware of it. But I'm only aware of it. I haven't mastered it or thought about it or committed it to memory or anything like that. Let's uh, let's go back over here and join this army again. Uh, I got plenty of food. Okay. We're 720 strong. We're going to Veron Castle? Yeah. Talavel's been besieged. Let's see if we can scout ahead. We might be able to save this army the trip. Leave. We're 155 strong. There's 800 here. That's a pretty strong army. 492. We're 150, another 135 would be, what, five, five, six, seven, eight, to about 280, 380, 480, let, let's call it, we're around 425. Oh, that might be enough. I want to find out about this, guys, so I'm going to create a sub, uh, save scum. And then I want to see if I can come in and attack with all these guys. And it's 459 versus 492. That is pretty close. 
One damage dealt. That sounded like a leader because it was a chick. So she's probably a noble. I think there are mods you can get that will have females in amongst the the main soldiery, but I don't think that it's that way by default. And if you don't have that mod, then any female voices you hear are going to be nobles, which means that they're leaders. Oh, there's the other cab. Okay, they got a lot of cab. Okay, and I just triggered them. <laughs> what I want to do, though, is I want to soften these guys' shields up. Be because that's what my javelins are able to do. Oh, I hit a guy. Let's uh, circle around. I got, what, five more? Oh, man, one of my dudes got hurt. We got three more left. Okay, that's it. So let's start killing Cav. Ow! Get away from me. <laughs> what in the deuce? I want to get some speed going. Everything's getting in my way. I thought he was going to hit that tree. He doesn't want me on his back. Look, he's trying to maneuver. He's playing all defense. I hit him for 133. Him or his friend. There's a bunch of them, so I better get to work. Ah, that that's not how you get to work. Okay, I've released my calf. Uh, who, who can I take right here? Yeah. Oh man, they're winning. That sucks. That does suck. I thought we were gonna win this. Come back. <laughs> Come back. Ooh, I, I thought I was gonna get deuced right there. Come on. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Okay, right here. Oh man. Whenever I see those Valandians drop their lances, ever since I got skewered, I get I get a little bit nervous. Oh, here they come. Yeah, cross bolts. I'm not gonna be able to take out cross bolts, man. 
Oh, <laughs> my horse is almost dead. Uh, uh. Ah, wretches. Oh man, okay. You guys are gonna hate me for this. This is bad. This is bad, but I have a reason. And and I, I would let this play out, I would. I know everybody's gonna make fun of me for this. But I wanna test it, I wanna run. I wanna approach it differently than what I did, not waste time on the javelins, and see if that's how I should be playing my guy. And this is a perfect opportunity to do that. And that that's why I'm reloading this save. <laughs> Man, everybody's going to fry me over this. Like, you're cheating, dude. No, I, I'm testing. I, it's science. <laughs> All right, hit attack. Infantry, take over. Over sergeants. Infantry, after me. Yeah. All right. Now, maybe the sooner the better. I'm going to go trigger their cavalry right away. And then I want to lead them back to my archers, hopefully. Oh, they picked a good spot. This is an awkward attack angle. Well, I've definitely triggered them. Now, can I drag them back to my archers? Come on, come on! There, there's, it's a target-rich environment. How, how am I missing all of them? <laughs> this is going about like it did the last time, where I'm just, I'm not getting any kills. Okay, I let my cab go. There. Okay, well that was 60 damage. I didn't drop anybody. This guy. Okay, good. Got you. Alright, I'm at two, I think. I've done damage to two guys and I've dropped two guys. There's three. Oh, yeah, yeah, I didn't. I almost died right there. That was two of them. That's four. Oh, shoot. Where th did those guys just simply appear? I think they did. Where's the rest of my team at? Okay. Right here. Okay, that's five. I lost count of how many kills I've had. Oh, 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 man, I thought I was gonna die there. I saw that guy coming from my left. Oh, I didn't see that one. a mistake. I want to zero in on at least one of you. Oh, how did I miss? Oh, that's my guy. Now 
Is this is this dude running off the map? I think he is. I don't want to waste time on that. Let those guys go. Oh, come on. Running. Bad. Oh, we've got them. We've got them. We got a lot more people left than they do. I hit him. Oh, man, I thought he died there. I was going to say, I took his... Sh I hit him right in the shield, and it, it made him off balance. My timer's going off. Okay, so... I'm kind of thinking maybe the lesson learned here is that... I don't know that javelins are all that useful. If you're like, if you're gonna be a melee calf, just be melee calf. Uh, it might be better better to have a an arrow, bow and arrow, you know. Because I kill a lot more people with my jet with my um my polearm than I do with javelins. And that was the definitive difference in this in this matchup. The last one I lost, and I didn't have hardly any kills, and I was captured. This one I won, and I had 13 kills. And we killed Philanora. Yeah, I, you know, I just, these are all things that are kind of I'm sort of puzzling through to understand how the game works and how to build characters in the future. All right, uh, Yana, you are my prisoner. Varmund is my prisoner. These guys are all prisoners. Oh, I'm going to take... Let me test this out. Yana and Varmund right there, because we're at my castle. So it's not like I have far to go. Okay, so go to the dungeon, manage prisoners. Did they escape? They did not. You guys go there. Uh, yes. And still, I actually think I want to donate all of these guys. So that I can start building this garrison up. Alrighty then. Might as well go to garrison guards, automatically defend villages, automatically create a guard party. These defaults are fine. Okay. Good to go. Negative 352 per month. They're still trying to ransom the king. I thought I failed that quest. They got another one? There's a camp at Baltak and I just really don't want to go all the way across the map, man. Oh, how did I miss you? I think for this one, we can actually just auto resolve this. We got 33 level ups. Skirmishers. I want more skirmishers. We leveled up in throwing. Uh, I will take well prepared. And again, we will go to the dungeon and donate all prisoners over. Okay. We're going to need to do some more recruiting. Nobody, right? Yeah. Okay, 
uh, save the weaponry for smelting. Nineteen thousand. That's helpful. All right, and uh, I'm going to probably do some tournaments, which I did all off screen before. Also, let me show you. We are we're up to seventy on athletics. I don't know. I mean. For, to get this the way that Strat Gaming does, we got to get all the way up in the air, and I just really don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think so. So I may abandon that strategy in the future also. Even though they're really nice, you get attribute points, right? But grinding out athletics sucks. I don't like it. It's, that's not fun. So maybe I can look and find another way to grind out athletics, but right now that's 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 that sucks. So anyway, we will save as save over current two. And that'll wrap up this episode. Let's take a look at where the war is at. Well, we're still pretty evenly matched. But we've taken more of their stuff than they've taken of ours. It seems to me. Am I wrong about that? I mean, obviously, this should be ours. We need to take that back. These are the villages that belong to it. These two. Oh, they took Veron Castle back. Um... We need Nevyansk. Am I able to raise an army yet, or is our boy still... Nyasin, is Nyasin still being held ransom? He is. Okay. So we got those two. We have uh, Abkomer Castle, and we've got Nevyansk Castle. If we can take and hold those, then we will have successfully completely kicked them out of Batanian lands. Then we'll probably need to take this one, unless the Empire takes it back from them. And then we need to start pushing into Volandia. Now this doesn't have anything to do with our quest. Our quest is about taking down the Empire, right? And I'm really beginning to think that you might not want to do that unless you're going to be a king. And you can call all the shots. But I don't know for sure. We'll just kind of see how it develops. So again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.